Once you're done all your vacuuming, it's time to empty your Dyson Kinetic DC78. To do this is a very simple process. There is a button just by the power button that you press to release the top and just slide out the canister so that it comes out all together. And then you just go over to your waste bin. You can still hold it by this great little handle. And there's a red button on the canister. You just push it and it empties, opens up for you and you can empty right into your garbage bin. So you can just shake out all the dust that's there. It's really nice and clean um, to be able to get out all the dust, grime and pet hair that you vacuumed up. Okay, so once you have your vacuum emptied, um, you can just close it up and use it again by just clicking it and putting it back in the base. Or if you do find that there's any um, dirt or debris that is stuck inside, you don't wash. So remember, there are no bags to change, no filters to wash with this. Um, you would press the button to open it up and then there's a tool that's on attached to the outside. So you would just pop it out <laughs> and you can use this to scrape along on the inside if there happens to be anything that gets um, stuck on the outside. But you don't, um, you don't need to use water or anything like that. And you're ready to go and vacuum again. You just attach it back in again. When you're done, close it up and then set it back into the base with one click, your Dyson's ready to go. Thanks for joining in to learn more about the DC78 turbine head animal vacuum. Don't forget to check out the links below for more information and subscribe to the Little Miss Kate YouTube channel so you never miss a video or a review. Until next time.